What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be replacing my speedometer cable in my R32 Skyline. It just went out a couple days ago and I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. I already got the part here. I'm gonna show you guys how to take this speedometer cable out and how to put the new one in. Let's get into it. So I already have the cluster out because of my tachometer. It was bouncy and I already have it out and I already made a video actually on how to fix the tachometer and in that video it shows how to remove the whole cluster and get everything out like the trim and stuff. If you want to see that video I'll have an information card linked right now and you guys can go click on it and it'll show you guys how to remove um, this whole thing so we'll get to that process. So once you get your cluster removed, your speedometer cable is right here. So what you're going to want to do is you can kind of just slide it out. So if you want, you can just kind of push it out and it will slide out kind of like that. Sorry, I was kind of aggressive there, but it will just slide out. There's a little kind of little notch right here that it kind of slides into. You're just going to want to slide it out. And you can see mine is like stuck in right now. It shouldn't be like that. It should have that little piece in the middle kind of sticking out that goes into the speedometer. So I'm going to show you guys what three bolts you need to remove. They're going to be three 10 millimeters. Basically, if you guys can look down here, let me get the camera focused here. It's that plate right in the middle. You can see my finger there. One, two, three. Those three right there. You have to get them from the bottom of the car. You can try and get them from the top, but it's a lot easier just to get them from the bottom. So you want to go ahead and remove those three. All right, so taking a look from under the car here, you can see... This is kind of the bracket it's holding in. There's one here, one on top, and there's also one kind of on the side where this line is. You can see it kind of right there. And then just remove those three and then wait for the next step. Once you remove those three, basically just follow the line down. There's a little bracket, you kind of have to pop it out right there. There's another one here, and there's one more right here. Just kind of pop it out. Once you get all of them removed from the back, you can come back and the end of the speedometer cable, cable is in the transfer case really easy to twist off you're just going to want to loosen it all the way and then you can just pull it out there we go so what i did is i popped it out from the bottom and i basically just pushed up the top piece so it's sitting right on top here what i'm going to do is just kind of pull it out from the top boom we got it out so now that we got the speedometer cable out i actually was able to fix my stock one it basically came off i can't show you guys but this little white piece basically it goes on to the shaft and if you spin this end here that's what spins that and there you can see it's spinning and when i was spinning it it wasn't on so basically i just got some jb weld and just welded it on to that little shaft piece and i was able to slide it back on and it's hard it does work i'm going to put it in the speedometer to show you guys that it does work now so I'm spinning this end and you can see that it works. It's kind of hard to get a good speed though, because I'm just kind of like spinning with my fingers. So it's very inaccurate, but as you can see, it is working. So what I'm gonna do is just throw this in the car, go for a little test drive and make sure everything works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna feed it in through the top of the car. And then once I get it all the way through and I get this piece mounted, I'm gonna do it at the bottom as well. As you can see, I got it fed in. What I'm going to do is basically just move this over so I can basically slide it into that little slot there. I'm going to test mine before I fully put it in. So I put it in right now. And basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remember to re-plug in these harnesses back into the cluster. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set up the camera and spin the other end that I don't have connected in, into the transfer case yet. And I'm just going to spin it and see if the kilometers work. All right, so go ahead and spin it and see if it works. All right, well, it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the cluster, get all the harnesses plugged back in here, and then I'll be able to click it in down there and screw it in uh, down at the bottom. We got the cluster back up and mounted. So what we're gonna do is plug in the three harnesses that are on this side. And we're also gonna plug in the harnesses that are on this side as well. The three, four that are here. All right, so we got the whole trim and everything put back together and plugged in this is just an automatic gear selector like a, just a monitor um what i'm gonna do is just get some 3m uh tape and tape it back i had to take it down because it threads through and it was kind of a pain to get around so i will plug that in later but all we gotta do now is we have to go under the car and we have to put that piece in to the transfer case and then 
we will be good to go. We'll have to put the clips back in and into its spots as well and use the three 10 millimeter bolts to mount it to uh, the firewall. So uh, yeah, let's get it done. As you can see here, the speedometer is working. And I also got the tachometer to work as well. I just got to get this piece mounted and then we should be good to go. Awesome, good stuff. And I'm gonna clean up this uh, the display as well. Sorry about the wind noise. I got the window out, obviously. And it looks like the speedometer is obviously working really good, along with the tachometer that I fixed. Uh, feels really good. I love that feeling of now these both work. Also the clock down here I did fix as well. So everything's good to go and it looks good. Thank you guys for watching the video. This is how to fix this speedometer cable in an R32 Skyline. Not too bad of a process and I got pretty lucky that I was able to fix the old one. Um, so yeah, pretty easy process. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys have any other ideas you want me to do in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.